What is going on everybody, Yvonne here, and today we're going to go over one of the most popular CRM solutions on the market, HubSpot. HubSpot has a ton of plans that it has to offer across many different hubs that range from marketing, sales, or even operations. So today, what we're going to be doing a step-by-step -step walkthrough through the platform to see exactly if HubSpot is going to be the right fit for you. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now, because this is a step-by-step -step tutorial, if you guys do want to follow along, there is going to be a link down in the description for you guys to click on, where it's going to give you guys a free trial of the platform. So as you guys see here, the CRM is going to be the mitochondria of the cell and there's going to be different hubs attached to it. Now the different hubs are going to do their own functions ranging from marketing to sales to service to content so on and so forth. The goal of this is to keep everything within one place and that way everybody has full visibility on what is going on and whenever you guys figure out what is actually driving leads to your guys' business we can actually pull that data within our CRM. So the whole goal of the platform is for us to track the whole customer journey. If you guys are business owners or entrepreneurs having information regarding you guys as customers like that is going to be crucial. And that's where HubSpot comes in. You guys are able to track the activity of someone that has never interacted with you guys' brand before, all the way from them being an anonymous person that has never interacted with you guys' website, to them becoming a prospect, a client, and later a promoter of you guys' brand. The whole point of the platform is to keep as much information regarding our prospects, like their favorite color, favorite activity, and whenever we actually reach out to them, we can actually personalize our outreaches. That is going to be key to our equation because the days when we can just send random random cold emails are over. In this day and age, we need to do the max we can to stand out from our competitors and personalization is going to be the key factor behind our efforts here. So whenever we're ready to sign up, here's how the process goes. Once we click the link in the description, it's going to bring us to this page and all we got to do is get started for free. I'd go ahead and enter the email that you guys want to sign up with. Boom. And once we got that verified, we just got to set our password as well as our first and last name. And now HubSpot is going to ask you guys a couple questions and that way it's going to help you guys with the setup of the platform. So I've used the software before. I know which problems I want to solve. Let's say we're going to be in the retail industry, but again, there's so many different industries that HubSpot can be used for. We're going to be the owner and the company name is going to be test company. Boom. It's going to be just me for now. And our website is going to be myfirstwebsite.com. Alrighty. Now in the meanwhile, HubSpot is getting it set up for us and everybody's case is going to be a little different. So there's a couple templates that can help you guys set up the platform ranging from sales to marketing to customer service because they're different hubs and they do different functions. However, I suggest to set it up manually so you guys can customize it the way you guys like it. So let's go ahead and set it up manually, add contacts later. And if you guys want, you could always add your guys' teammates right over here as well. Alrighty, and now we're ready to rock with HubSpot. So we discussed theory, but how does it really work? So right over here on the left hand side, there's going to be a navigation bar with all the different options for us. The place where you guys are going to be spending the most time in is going to be the CRM section right over here within contacts, company records, and deal records. This is going to be the place where you guys are going to be interacting with your guys' clients. Now I opened a company record for us, so let's see exactly how it works. As you you guys see right over here we have the blank company name here and of course you can modify this when you guys actually input you guys' companies in and right over here on the left hand side there's going to be the information regarding the company like its domain name the industry it's in who the company owner is type city different stuff like that again all these properties on the left hand side regarding that company you guys can actually modify and the way you guys modify it is pretty straightforward all you got to do is press actions here and customize our properties and if we go ahead and do that once we press customize properties there's going to be all the custom properties that are listed for us here we can change the order of them or even delete some if we don't like them. And if we want to go ahead and add multiple properties to it as well, there's going to be the, all the options that HubSpot provides for us. However, I fully understand if you guys have something custom that you want to input inside of you guys' CRM. So if we want to go ahead and do that, all we got to do is just press this gear icon right over here. And it's going to lead us to a place where we can go ahead and modify the whole company record. And from here, if you guys do want to add specific sections regarding what you guys are looking for, like right over here, we have the about this company. But if you guys want to have another section, we can go ahead and just add a card here and in the settings you guys can create those custom settings but what i'm trying to get at is everything within our crm is customizable that is a big thing that hubspot is known for and doesn't matter where you guys are in your journey hubspot can scale with you guys really well so if we go back to the company record here all of our activities so think calling emailing notes right you're in linkedin messages depending on how we set it up can be displayed right over here with certain things you do need a higher plan like for example if you guys are using linkedin sales navigator we do need sales professional, but for most of the things like sending emails or writing notes, you can do them within the HubSpot's free plan. However, if you guys want to take it up a notch and you guys have your own sales team, I would highly suggest to also tie in you guys' phone number, right? So you can call directly through the platform. You can do that within both start and professional features. And that way, depending on the state you guys are in, you guys can actually listen back to the calls and see exactly what that conversation was about. That is really useful because that way nothing slips through the cracks and you guys can always remember what that last conversation was about, even if you guys were not the one that 
haven't actually made it. So usually for this middle section, different parts are going to be stored that it comes to communication. But if you guys also want to filter out the activity that you want to see directly, you can do so like this. And right over here on the right hand side, there's going to be the contacts that are associated with a specific company, any deals associated with it, tickets, payment links, other companies, subscriptions, so on and so forth. Remember, anything right over here on the right hand side can be modified. Again, this whole company record can be modified. So it kind of depends what you guys are looking for. With a lot of businesses that I worked with, one of the properties they have on the right hand side is going to be the QuickBooks integration, which can streamline their processes. But again, all this can be dependent on what you guys are looking for. So I'd go ahead and modify it within the settings option. Now let's go to the basics really quick. Within HubSpot, there's going to be three different types of records that exist. There's going to be the company record, the contact record, and the deal record. And all of those records are going to be interconnected with one another. And here's what I mean by this. For example, let's say you guys are working with this company, right? Let's go ahead and name it HubSpot, right? So we can see it. So let's say we're working with HubSpot. All the contacts that are present with HubSpot, right? We can go ahead and add them right over here, are going to be added on the right hand side. And the reason why we want to add multiple contacts on the right hand side is a lot of times, especially if you're doing anything business to business, there's going to be multiple stakeholders involved. And that way, all the emails, all the communications, and all of our interactions with them are going to be listed right over here in the middle from every single person. However, if I want to see only what Brian Halligan has said, all I got to do is go to his contact record. And if I go to activities, I see everything that he said right over here in the middle. And as you guys see, the contact record looks fairly similar to the company record. There's going to be the properties on the left hand side. There's going to be the communication in the middle. And there's going to be different properties on the right hand side, like deals or tickets. And again, if you guys want to customize the way it looks like and the properties that are going to be displayed, all you got to do is press actions, customize properties, or you can go ahead and do that within the settings option here. The whole point of this is to allow us to kind of segment that information. So there's going to be specific information that goes to the contact record versus the company record versus the deal record. Because if you guys only want to see what Brian is saying, you guys don't want to see all the messages from every other person within HubSpot. You just want to see what Brian is saying directly. And all we got to do to see that is go to Brian's contact record. And if we go to the activity tab right over here, we can see all of our interactions with Brian. However, if we want to see everything when it comes to HubSpot as a whole, we got to go to the company record and we are seeing it right over here in the middle, along with all of Brian's coworkers. But if we create a deal, all the communications for that specific deal or ticket is going to be listed within a deal or ticket record. So let's go ahead and create a deal right over here. We're going to name it HubSpot new deal. Let's press create. Now, as you guys see, this looks very familiar. We have all of our activities in the middle here and all the information regarding the deal and different columns right over here on the right hand side. Again, don't want to be sound like a broken record too much, but everything can be customized the way you guys want it to be. And if I were you and I wanted to see all of my deals within one place, I would go ahead and open up all my deals, pull up this view. And that way we can see all of our deals right here in front of us. I'm a big fan of these swim lanes because from here I can just go ahead and drag and drop wherever that specific deal is at all the way from appointment schedule to qualify to buy, presentation scheduled, so on and so forth. This way, you guys can stay nice and organized within your guys' sales process and that everybody is on the same page. And if you guys want to see specifically what is going on with that specific deal, where do you guys access this information? At the deal record. So if we go to our deal record right over here, if we're interacting with the customer, right, we're able to send quotes out, collect payments, that can be associated with that specific deal. This can come in really handy because a lot of times with different clients, you may be selling them different things and that way this allows you guys to stay organized. And speaking of organization, what I'd personally do if I were you guys is go ahead and create separate pipelines depending on what you guys are selling. If you guys are selling multiple products or you guys are selling to different regions, this can come in really handy to make sure that everything stays organized. But within every single pipeline, if you guys just want to see some specific amount of information, all you got to do is just throw in a filter on there. And based on the criteria that's present within a deal, we can go ahead and filter by that specific one. So for example, let's say we want to hit up folks whose last activity was today or yesterday or whatever it is, we can easily do that through setting a filter. And again, you guys can get pretty creative with this once you get some type of information in there. Now, you guys might be asking yourself, well, Yvonne, how do I actually get my information into this thing? And the answer is that it's pretty straightforward. All you got to do is just go right over here. And depending on what you guys want to input, whether it be contacts, company steals, just go ahead and open one of these up. Now, right over here, this is going to be our company record and all of our companies are going to be listed here. Now, if we want to go ahead and import some, all we got to do is just press import and we can either import it from file sync it from other apps or even migrate our data. And the best solution here kind of depends on what tech stack you guys are currently getting off of. For example, if you guys are using Salesforce, you can easily sync to that Salesforce application and move all that information over. So if you guys are using Salesforce, syncing that information from other apps is going to be the best option for us. However, if you guys are more old school and have been using spreadsheets, I'll go ahead and import that file from a spreadsheet. And that way you can just map up different columns depending on what you guys want to see within the company.
company record. Again, the whole process is pretty straightforward and you guys are not gonna have too much hassle with it. Awesome, now once you guys got those company records or contact records in you guys' system, it's time to nurture those prospects. And in my head, the easiest way to do this is gonna be through email marketing. And the way that we find it is go to the email option right over here and all we gotta do is just press skip here. And once you guys have imported your guys' contacts, you guys have your own opt-out list and you guys are ready to create your email, we're gonna be ready to go. Just for example purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and skip the setup so you guys can really see this thing in action. Let's go ahead and create our first email here. It's gonna be a regular email, press next. And HubSpot gives you guys a bunch of different templates, but let's go ahead and choose this e-commerce one. It looks nice and pretty. Let's go ahead and use this template and check it out. The cool thing about the platform is that it's really simple to use because it's simple drag and drop, right? If you use one of these, you can probably use this one as well, where you can modify all sorts of things, colors, logos, different stuff like that. Again, you name it. All the options are gonna be here on the left-hand side. And once our email has been created, let's go ahead and actually see what happens when we send it out. To do that, we gotta go to the analyze option here. And HubSpot has pretty in-depth reporting where you guys can see recipient engagement, delivery rates, email performance reports, data charts, different stuff like that. Again, all these can be customized depending on what you guys are looking for. And the best way to do that is just go to reporting here and open up dashboards. Now, once we open up dashboards, pretty much what that means is gonna be a collection of different reports. There's gonna be multiple templates here for us, but since we talked about email, let's go ahead and have an email overview one. Let's press next and let's create a dashboard. And as you guys see here, once you're actually able to send out those emails and get a couple data points, everything lives within HubSpot. And that way, all of you guys' performance, you can actually see within this one centralized place. So all the email conversations that we're having and the average first response time or email's closed totals, all this information can be seen right over here. And it's pretty straightforward on how to create a report. Depending on what information we want to see and how granular we want it to be, all we got to do is just press report. Now, if we do want a custom report, we do need to opt in for one of the paid plans. However, if you guys are okay with it and want to stick with a free version, there's going to be a bunch of amazing templates here for us. And if we scroll down, there's going to be so many different options for us. So don't worry about running out. You guys can also kind of filter out what you guys want to see. And that way it can give you guys different options here for you. And HubSpot does a really good job when it comes to support as it has a lot of different options. As you guys see here, there's going to be a lot of different things ranging from their own community to knowledge base of different articles to their own academy that has different HubSpot lessons to different developer documentation, customer blog, or even solution partners. You name it, there are so many different ways you guys can actually get help if you guys actually stumble upon a HubSpot issue. If I scroll down here, if you guys are currently in the free version, there's going to be a ton of different community resources. You guys have probably seen some of those blogs. They're really helpful. However, if you're trying to scale up your operations, the start and the professional plan offer both email, chat, and phone support, which can come in really handy depending on what plan you guys have. And there you guys have it. That was a beginner walkthrough of the HubSpot platform. If I were you guys, what I'd personally do is just throw in your guys' contacts or companies in there, and now we can play with the platform completely for free. But remember, if you guys do want to try out the platform, there is going to be the exclusive link down below in the description where you can do it completely for free. On this channel, we make videos regarding different tools and platforms to help you guys grow and start your guys' business. And if you found this video helpful or got some value out of this, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Till next time, peace.